It's the Q. Here is your host, Jeff Crick. Hi, Jeff Rick here with theCUBE. We are on the ground at Santa Clara Convention Center at the Open Daylight Summit, their second show. It's all about software-defined networking and we're psyched for our next guest here, Gal Mainzer, engineering director from what used to be ConnectStream, but recently acquired by HP. Welcome. Yeah, thank you, thank you very much. So, congratulations. Uh, tell us a little bit about ConnectStream. Uh, well, ConnectStream was founded around nine years ago by uh, uh, Sharon Barkai, Nachman Chelef, and uh, Ariel Noy, an additional founders. Uh, we've been in the SDN uh, field quite long, from the beginning, and uh, well, we feel that we know the industry pretty well to uh, start talking about telco grade uh, controllers and uh, what it takes uh, to actually nail a telco grade carrier solution. And now you're working for our friend Sar Galai right over at yes, HP. Yes. Sar's a great guy. Yeah, a lot of success. He had success with the cloud. He's, you know, they just, uh, Meg keeps putting him on new things to be, uh, to go out and get it done. So congratulations yeah. working for Sar. So talk about what is network grade? What does that really mean? Um, well, telco grade actually means uh, that you need to make your product more robust and uh, more resilient and be able to upscale the solution and have it um, handle the, the distribution that uh, requires by telco uh, products, okay? Um, tel and let's I mean, say, how much of that's kind of oh, industry-driven versus regulatory-driven, right? Obviously, there's some historical legacy kind of there. Uh, or is it just, is it, is it really more just kind of the expected behavior on, by the customers? Well, the thing in telco that they have a multi-site uh, requirement. They, for example, in the U.S., you have telcos like uh, Comcast or AT&T that has wide uh, area solution distributed over the United States, and you need to handle that. And uh, with 50 or more more sites, you need to have a solution that can handle this big distribution uh, problem. Now, besides the distribution requirement, you have the resiliency requirement and the upscale requirement. Telco, big telco, tier one telco, has more than 100 million subscribers. Now, nowadays, you know that uh, traffic that one 100 million subscriber requires is a lot of pretty much <laughs> a lot of bits uh, and bytes, right? Yeah, a lot of bits and bytes, exactly. Yeah. So how do so how do you attack it? So one, are are you carrier grade? Are you guys making progress into that world, or are you close to it? Um, it's a tough thing to do. I mean, uh, okay. when you're trying to attack uh, the controller requirement, it's not only handle the, it's not only to handle the, uh, um, the features that a controller needs to do, but also to do it in a rough environment, such as full resiliency, anything that falls down need to be uh, highly available and nothing should affect traffic because the basic essence in SDN is to separate between control and data plane. Right. And it still need to handle that uh, basic requirement of not affecting anything in the traffic. So this is a big issue and very tough uh, um, thing that um, requires handling in every aspect of software development starting at the architecture of the solutions and even in the implementation itself. So the uh, the joke is, right, how do you eat an elephant, right, one bite at a time? So yeah. when you're trying to, to go after something so big and complex, are, are there pieces that where you can start and bite off a small chunk? I mean, how do you how do you kind of make progress into what is a really large and complex system? Well, it requires very talented uh, architects and uh, experienced engineers, I guess. Um, it's not easy. It's not easy at all. I mean, we earlier heard uh, from uh, VP at AT&T that they have a lot of challenges as well. Right. Everybody got a lot of challenges. The, the point here is how do you overcome those challenges um, while keeping in mind the requirement of a telco grade uh, product. So. so then you said you've been at it for a long time. You've been at it for nine years. Oh, uh, yeah. If not longer, yeah. right at a prior company, maybe. Uh, <laughs> went to Cisco and then came to Context Stream seven years ago, okay. and 
been pretty much from the beginning. So talk about the impact of a, of a something like Open Daylight, where you've got now kind of an industry, open source uh, group that is putting together standards. How does that impact the ability to really eat this elephant a little bit faster? Um, well, from one hand, we really want to work with the Open Daylight and try to leverage the uh, open source uh, community and to contribute back. But from the other hand, it's a really big community with many big and small companies and everybody trying to take uh, the, the open source to their own direction or maybe to the open source direction. So it's a bit challenging to try and work in that environment. Uh, we try to contribute as much as we can and uh, to help the community grow, um, but it takes, takes a lot of effort. But is is it is it working? Do you, are you getting good contribution? Are you guys, you know, deriving the standards that are going to help the adoption accelerate? What do you think? Yeah, we're trying both in Open Daylight community and in uh, Etsy and NVO3 to uh, drive some standards and push uh, um, the SDN forward to what we see as uh, required by a telco grade. Uh, okay. So if I come back next year, we meet again, what, uh, what's kind of on your short list? What are you guys working on? What's the next big mountain that you're trying to take? Um, actually, uh, after many PLCs this year, uh, we're hoping to be in uh, field trial and uh, distribution and uh, deployment, sorry, um, and have uh, our product out there. Very exciting. Yeah. That's what it's all about, right? At the exactly. end of the day, you want your baby out in the world. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, Gal, thanks for uh, stopping by for a, a bit. Congratulations on your acquisition. Working for SAR is a great guy. Shout out to SAR. I'm sure he'll see it. And uh, we're uh, he, he's Gal. I'm Jeff. We're on the ground at Open Daylight Summit. You're watching theCUBE. See you next time.